Good day grade 11s. Welcome to your next lesson in trigonometry. In this lesson we're going to be looking at applying cofunction identities. But we're not going to just be doing the cofunction identities. If you look at this we're also going to be doing the 180 plus or minus rule, the 360 plus or minus rule and I might in some of the examples throw in the special triangles as well. The whole point is to bring it all together. So let's look at this. We've got cos of theta minus 90 degrees cos of 720 plus theta, tan of theta minus 360 degrees, all over sine squared theta plus 360 degrees, cos of theta plus 90 degrees. So before we have a panic attack at what looks like the scariest question in the entire universe, what we're going to do is we're going to just draw a cast diagram. And we're going to think about what each of these is doing. Cos of theta minus 90 degrees. Now, we know that 90 plus and 90 minus anything is giving me a co-ratio. So cos of this, the co-ratio of cos is sine. Now all I have to do is decide if that's positive or negative in the quadrant that it becomes. So this here is theta. If I subtract 90, I end up getting into my fourth quadrant where cos is positive. So therefore this becomes the positive co-ratio of sine of theta. Another way of thinking about this is you could have written this as minus 90 plus theta. So we end up at minus 19, we add theta, so we end up back in the positive quadrant there. So that is sine theta. Cos of 720 plus theta, remember that this is the same as writing cos of 360 plus 360 plus theta, which we'll talk about in a minute, tan of theta minus 360. So what are we doing? We're starting at our theta and then we're going all the way around by 360 degrees. So remember if we're adding or subtracting by full 360 degrees, we're just going all the way around so we end up back at our theta and theta is positive for everything in this first quadrant so that just becomes tan theta all over. Sine squared theta plus 360 again we're starting at theta but this time we're going around positive direction so we're going back that way so therefore we end up back in this first quadrant with theta and therefore sine is going to be positive here so it becomes sine squared theta Cos of theta plus 90, we know that the co-function of, of theta plus 90 and theta minus 90 is sine, but we need to decide which quadrant this is. And cos is, this is in theta plus 90, so it's in this quadrant here, it is in this quadrant here. That is the same as theta plus 90 degrees. But cos is negative in this, so it becomes minus sine Theta. So you first decide which quadrant, you decide if cos is going to be positive or negative and then you do your co-function. Right, so now let's have a look at it. Do you agree that sine theta and the sine theta cancel so we just left with minus 1 over here. Now let's fix up the top. This becomes 360 plus 360 plus theta. So what are we doing? We're going around twice. Once, twice and we end up back here. So it is again just going to be cos theta times tan theta times tan theta over minus 1 times by sine squared theta becomes minus sine squared theta. Now to make this easier to cancel out I need to use my identity that tan theta is equal to sine theta over cos theta. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to substitute this in for my tan. So I've got cos theta times by sine theta over cos theta all over minus sine squared theta. Now remember there's an implied one year because that is a whole number so we can cancel those. Isn't that lovely? So we end up with sine theta over negative sine squared theta. So this theta sine theta cancels with the squared and we're left with 1 over minus sine theta which is a much prettier thing than this horrible thing up here. So grade 11's hints and tips. Remember don't panic. Draw your cast diagram. Look at each thing individually and just take it slowly and if you don't make any silly mistakes you will get to the final answer. Let's look at another example. 
Now we've got, oh, this looks much easier. Cos of 90 plus theta, sine of theta plus 90, times by, and uh, divide by sine of minus theta. So again, before we do anything else, I am going to draw my cost diagram. All stations to Cape Town. Now, cos is a co-ratio, cos of 90 plus theta is a cos is a co-ratio of sine. But if I go 90 plus theta, do you agree that I'm in this quadrant? And that quadrant is negative for cos. So this becomes minus sine theta. Sine of theta plus 90 is again a co-ratio for cos, but this time we're in this quadrant here, which is positive for sine. So this becomes cos theta. How pretty is that? And then sine of minus theta is putting me in the fourth quadrant. Minus theta is down here. We're basically going from zero backwards minus theta. So therefore we know that sine is negative here, so it becomes minus sine theta. Those cancel and we end up just with cos theta. How nice and easy was that? Let's do another. Okay, we've got 2 sine of 90 minus theta plus sine of 90 plus theta divided by sine of 90 minus theta plus cos of 180 plus theta. So, what do we do to first? We draw our cos diagram, all stations to Cape Town. And we think we've got 2. Sine of 90 minus theta is in the first quadrant and everything's positive in the first quadrant. So, we know that the co-function of sine of 90 minus theta is just cos theta, how nice is that, plus sine of 90 plus theta is in the second quadrant, sine is positive in the second quadrant, so it just becomes its co-function of cos theta, all over. Sine of 90 minus theta, again, is in the first quadrant, and in the first quadrant we know that that is everything's positive. The co-function of 90 minus theta, sine of 90 minus theta, is cos theta, so we've got cos theta there, plus cos of 180 plus theta. Now 180 plus theta is over here, over there, right? So 180 plus theta is actually going to become minus cos theta because it is not a co-function, so it's 180 minus cos theta. So then what do we have? We have 3 cos theta over, wait for it, cos theta minus cos theta is 0. So this is undefined. We cannot solve this. It is undefined. Okay, so that's it to grade 11s. Please go practice, 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 and then go do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day.